Hello guys and welcome in this new video on Netico channel. Now we finally get to start our video series about um, building a game engine as I promised last month. So um, this is a game engine series and this is the first video on it. In this first video we're gonna be establishing some basics like what are we gonna be using for writing code and how to install SDL. Now if you already have SDL installed and have code block installed I will also recommend you to watch this video till the end because there are some settings that I want you to have in order for you to catch me because I'm gonna be using some different settings on code block and if you don't know them then you have some problem and uh, it's important for you to watch this now let's get started Now on the screen here you can see a simple showcase of um, something built with that. So I um, just want to show you something before we get into the installation. So if I switch over to my tile, so I have tile, I'm you know drawing my maps with tile and I can simply uh, uh, use a pass, a XML puzzle which I created to pass the map into the game. So this was just a simple showcase, I didn't want to do something so special so it doesn't matter. I'm not even a good graphic designer either so anyway now if I come here if you see I don't have to recompile the code I can simply run it and you know, those tiles I remove are simply you know vanished and I don't have to see them anymore and this is how this can work and that's the whole idea of a game engine we don't have a, we don't have to recompile the code whenever we change something we just have to you know set some stuff and then run the application and he will simply handle them and yeah that's it now without spending your time too much let's talk about code block now the installation of code block is pretty straightforward there is not a lot to do about this you just go to um code block code block that out slash downloads i'll put the link in the description below so it doesn't matter anyway and uh, you go to download the binary release and I recommend you to download this version right here because it has admin right and it also um, has a compiler pre installed with it so you don't have to you know deal with installing your own compiler and all that kind of stuff this is important uh, for people who are beginners who are not so confident about this so uh, I recommend you to use the same settings as me because it would, it would make sure that you don't you know face some kind of problem because you choose to do things as you you know as you want so it's important for you but i also want to mention that it's clear that you can use any kind of uh, ide you want you can use visual studio code you can use i don't know dev c plus plus it doesn't matter anyway now you simply use one of these links here if you click on one of these links you simply download code block as i said installation is straightforward you just click on next next and everything is gonna be done so i don't have to show that so if you want to build a game engine a game engine you should at least know how to install code block i just wanted to say that so now uh, it's also important for us to install sdl on code block this is how code block looks if you've never used it before it's this is how code block looks so we have the project tree here we have all tools and stuff here so if you want to compile the application just run this one to compile this one is to run this one is compile and run and you can recompile rebuild actually and yeah those are the most important component right here there are more than you can do with code block but for now we're gonna be sticking with that but we're gonna be learning some more settings and stuff later on when they becomes important now for now we want to install SDL now what I want to do is I have to close this project right here I have to create a new project so create a console application create a console application so this is the application of our game engine so we're starting actually but this is just to install code block so you can call it whatever you want so I'm gonna call it soft engine I'm gonna start it on my desktop put it whatever you want depends on you and say next make sure the debug and the release checkboxes are checked because that's important 
and yeah if the installation of COBOL was you know successful you should at least see this compiler here the g the gcc compiler under windows and stuff so now you finish so i just want to rename this file and put like a big character in the beginning i like it to be like that because that's how i like it so it depends on me now make sure the compiler is working if i run this you see we have our hello world application coming on the screen now we want to install sdl and make sure it's working the first thing i'll recommend you to do is go ahead and create a folder somewhere that you want to make sure that you won't change it anymore i mean in my case i created it in the d the d drive so i could have done it here but i chose to done to do it here because i want to keep my c drive clean i don't want to put too much things there so i have this folder called dev right here now create a folder like that you can call it whatever you want the name is not important now go to your browser and i want you to download sdl i put the link in the description below so there is this version right here you can see this is window and you have this version with minggw.tar.gz so you can download this one here if you're using visual studio you have to download the one on the top but i won't cover the installation on visual studio right here so um, there are thousands of videos out there which which explain how to install sdl on on uh, the visual studio now if you download this you will have like this oh it's deleted i need to make sure i need to download it again so i click on this now i need to open my download folder to find it there it has to finish first now it's done so we have this you have a zip file i hope you know what is a zip file because that's important so extract so you will get a folder like this sdl actually comes with a 32 bit and um, a 64 bit if you want to know which one of these two folder here uh, uh, holds the 42 and or the 64 bit you can simply check in this install.txt you can see right here we have this folder right here is for the 32 bit we're going to be using the 32 bit so that's why this folder right here is important for us now i'm going to copy that folder switch over to the new directory i created you can see right here i have sdl so i'm going to remove this so and paste this I'm gonna call this SDL2. So this is how I call it. You can see in the folder we have the includes and we have the lib files. Now switch over to code block and go to setting up here and you go to compile. So we wanna tell the compiler that he needs to link those files from SDL during the compilation process. That's important. So we have to go to um, yeah, linker setting, linker settings. There you have to put this right here. So we need to you know specify that we're using this uh, this compiler with main G and all that kind of stuff. And we also need to specify the SDL two main. And all. that's not important. You don't need to understand why we're putting this. There. So the compiler needs to know this because he will link. The file of the sdl library through this now you write this exactly as you can see right here we have the dash um l, l main gw 32 dash l sdl2 main dash l sdl2 now the sdl image is there because we also have to install sdl image i'll show you it's the same principle it's not a difference in installing sdl image and sdl itself now in search directory now i'll need to remove this because they are not this, this is not available anymore on search directory right here in the compiler section uh, section right here i need to you know link my header files so i click on this and go to um, the folder i created in my case was dev sdl2 and i put the include and i want to choose sdl2 because i don't want to when i include using sdl backslash sdl so just want to directly include the header files with their names so i push ok 
now um, the same thing will be done for SDL image I'm gonna also provide the link for SDL image in the description it's the same principle just have to go ahead and look my folder and I have SDL image I'll go to the 32 bit include and then I choose the SDL tool and that's it and I push OK this is the first part and we also have the um, the library files which are on the linker so this section linker you go there this is also no longer um, available so I'm just gonna change remove that so now we have to edit again we go to our folder dev and we have SDL we go to lip and we push OK we simply say OK now I also have to do it for the SDL image because I also want it to work so the DFC++ SDL image 32 bit and uh, lip just say OK and now we normally have SDL installed so we want to test this in order for us to test this we need to include it in the project so we say include Mm, it's not appearing right now. Include sdl.h. Let's try to compile, compile this and see. So yeah, in order for us to use sdl, we need to change the main function with the arguments argc and uh, char argv. So we'll compile it again and see. So sdl he hasn't said anything wrong, so it's okay now. We're gonna be trying to initialize uh, some SDL component and return the message if everything was correct. So I'm gonna say SDL. I don't know why it's not auto completing right now, but it should work. So SDL init. I'm gonna say SDL init everything. So if this is equal to zero, then the in initialization was correct so in that case we need to say whatever working doesn't matter so let's compile this and see ah we didn't add the SDL DLL file in our project folder so go ahead and open um, the folder of SDL where you install it so this one was it go to bin and copy this file right here you copy this to switch over to your project file or project folder we have soft engine we have the bin we have debug paste it there so um, for the sake of the you know because we want to move forward without coming back again I'm also going to do this for SDL image so I have to go to leap right here I think this is it um, SDL image 32 bit I need to copy um, all these DLL files that's important copy them all the DLL file and go to your project you are on the debug and you paste them there so now go back to your code block you need to close this and start again compile it again you see we have working so that was the first video we needed to install this that was important because um yeah now uh, we need to move forward with some um, basics established so it was important for me to make this clear so we still have some couple of, uh, of things that we're gonna be doing on um, on code block because there are some different things that we're gonna be setting up but we're gonna be doing this throughout the video series so that you can see how this is um, important so thank you guys for watching videos on medical channel hit that like button and uh, yeah leave a comment in the description below if you have any question or concern i'll be there so ciao